Good morning, everybody. This is Terry Jeanette with The Tapping Flamingo. And today's video is going to be on um, different souvenirs that I purchased when we were in Qatar. Or Qatar, depending on where you're from. People say it different. Anyway, the reason you're not seeing my face today is because we actually just got back last night. Uh, we were up for over 28 hours. I am suffering from jet lag and I am really tired and I just decided to throw on something really comfortable and not do anything but brush my hair and my teeth today. Uh, I'm filling Etsy orders so that's why I have a mess in the background but I thought I would shoot this really quick so I could get it loaded up to YouTube. So um, as you see I got some camels for my granddaughters but there's some other things here I kind of want to talk about. So before we left I had no idea what people would buy souvenir wise. So I did a little bit of research and most of them said little wooden boxes, um, these little cool coffee pots. They have a special coffee they drink there and they have um, some neat coffee pots. I don't drink coffee or tea, but I thought it'd be kind of neat to have one of those. Um, what else did they say? Scarves, uh, different things like that. Usually when I go on a trip, I like to collect t-shirts, um, magnets, Christmas ornaments, salt and pepper shakers, flags, which I was able to, to get a, a Qatarian flag. Um, and I'm trying to think. I think that's about it. Uh, anyway, my sister-in-law told me about these necklaces that I could purchase. This one is for my daughter-in-law, Anna. Um, and for my daughter and each of my daughter-in-laws, I got them a sterling silver one. And uh, th these are really kind of neat. Um, I Fortunately, they put their names on the boxes because, of course, I don't know how to read these. And then on the back, there's a little marking so you'll be able to wear them correctly. But so each of the girls got one of those. Like I said, each of my four granddaughters got a little camel. And speaking of camels, I actually wanted to find a little camel charm. I couldn't find one anyway where they did not know what charms were. Pendants, there was just nothing. You could find a lot of really nice jewelry. If you're into gold, that's the place to go. Uh, I'm not really a gold person. I'm more of a sterling silver person. But uh, I never did find my camel. So, at least not in jewelry. I'll show you something else I got. One other thing that they uh, recommend that you purchase are dates and spices. My sister-in-law actually, we went to uh, Qatar to visit her. She and her son lived there. And they had gone to Dubai over the Christmas holidays. And they got us some of these chocolate-covered dates, which let me tell you, they are divine. I'm not usually into to dates so much, um, but chocolate covered. These were really, really good. And I actually have enough to be able to share with my family. So we're all getting those. Um, so let me just say this. Why did we go to Qatar? As I said before, my sister-in-law and her son live there. She works um, in education there. And uh, there was a really um, very important lifetime event that happened uh, with my nephew. And so we were there to support him in that. And that was our, our main reason to go, is for that and then to, to, to visit them. Uh, but on with what else I got. So I mentioned I like to get magnets. Uh, in 2022, Qatar is going to be hosting the... Um, the World Cup football or soccer and so I got each of my boys one of these magnets and um, I also got them a t-shirt let me tell you something these t-shirts were not exactly the easiest thing to find by the way excuse my my nail polish they've been on for about 15 days and that trip yesterday just did them in. But anyway, uh, I'm going to have to change them out. But back to the t-shirts. Very, very difficult to find t-shirts in Qatar. Uh, I wanted to find 
ones that had something about the World Cup on it, but these were the only ones I could really find that were in decent condition. So they're each getting a t-shirt. Um, and then I like to collect salt and pepper shakers wherever I go. So I got me some salt and pepper shakers. This is one of the iconic mosques that are that's in Doha. It's it's a spiral. It's really a kind of a cool building. They have some really beautiful buildings in Doha. And as I said before, I couldn't find a camel um, to wear around my neck. So I found this cute little guy, and we were able to ride camels and. I'll talk about that in another video, but he opens up. I don't know what you would put in there, but isn't he gorgeous? And they wrapped him up and put him in one of these organza bags. Um, I just bought a little something for some of my friends. Uh, just a little, not much, it's just a magnet. And then remember I was talking to you about the coffee pots? Well, I couldn't really find any coffee pots that floated my boat, but they had these, and I thought they were absolutely gorgeous. It opens up, and um, that'll be, it didn't take up a whole lot of room. That's one thing when I do go on these trips, I don't want to bring back things that take up a whole lot of room. I got this coaster. I just thought it was really pretty. Actually, it reminds me of something you'd find in Mexico, but they have a lot of this type of thing in the Middle East too, uh, the ceramic. And here's another camel I got, this little miniature rug. Isn't he cute? And okay, one thing that's really, really important that you get when you go are these beautiful scarves. Now, I am very cold natured, and so I do wear these, um, especially when I go to church because I freeze to death all the time. But these, this one was absolutely gorgeous. I wanted um, something that had uh, turquoise and pink and purple and yellow, which is not a whole lot of yellow in there. It's more of a gold. But I just really, really love this, and I'll be wearing this quite a bit. Now, we went uh, dune bashing and rode a camel, and my sister-in-law bought my husband and her son one of these scarves that the Qatarian men wear on their heads, but uh, I'm probably going to use it as a scarf now because she's not going to be wearing it, uh, so that'll be nice to keep me warm. And then I got one other, let me take it out of the bag, sorry for all the rattling, and I really was looking for a yellow scarf, but this one has camels on it, isn't that pretty? So I'm getting into camels now. How about that? <laughs> All right. Um, but I think that's as far as souvenirs and gifts for people, that's pretty much all that I got. Um, I know I read articles about wooden boxes. I found one wooden box. Um, oh, I can show you this. My sister-in-law got us this when she went to Dubai. Camel milk chocolates. They're really, really good, by the way. Um, but anyway, if you get the opportunity to go to Qatar, go and enjoy the culture, learn about it. Um, I am really thankful for the opportunity I had to go and learn a little bit more about the people and, um, to do some activities, which stay tuned for some more videos on Qatar. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. This is Terry and Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo and little Mr. Camel here signing out for now. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.